kind of edit it out. Roll in. Hi everybody, I'm Jackie. Welcome to Yoga Posture Labs 101. So I'm here with my friend Mariah today and awesome Ben is doing our taping for us. There's Ben. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna go through the pose um, tree because that's her favorite pose and I figured I haven't done a video on tree pose yet, so why not do it? So here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk her through. This is for teachers and students. Teachers, if you're watching this, you do get the non-contact CE credited hours. So, the first thing is your standing leg. You wanna make sure that it's strong and stable. And I always talk about stacking the awareness. So what we wanna do is have, which leg do you wanna balance on? You're right. Okay, so I'm gonna have Mariah bend the right knee just a little bit and then straighten it. Now, if she had a habit to lock the knee out, then the calf is gonna go soft and she won't have the stability. So she would have to give a little micro bend. Does it feel stable mm -hmm. right now? Yeah. Then as we stack awareness, she wants to make sure that the foot is as flat as possible. Obviously we're on snow, so we have to keep that in mind. Don't lift that leg just yet. But then draw the awareness up that the calf is strong, the quadricep is strong, and then the hips are where you're gonna bring awareness to next. Then I want you to pull in the core, pull the belly button toward the spine. The shoulders are gonna drop down. So if your teacher can take your fingers, you can kind of drop down this way and then tell them to pull the ribs in. When the ribs pull in, the core kind of locks and all of a sudden you have stability. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so once she's got that, now she can think about what she does with the standing leg. Um, because it's tree pose, you have so many options on what to do with your arms. Do you like to have them like here for balance, out, up? I like them up. Okay, well we'll bring them up eventually. Let's get that leg lifted. Okay. So to start out, have your students actually cock the foot that's going to do the lifting out and bring the heel to where it's actually connected to the other ankle. So you're kind of resting on the top toe. Lift the heel. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And just have the toe as your stability. Okay. Right? That sets you up, but then make sure that the tailbone is tilted down and as the tailbone tilts down and the pelvic girdle tilts forward, pull that core back in. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, then if you're stable, then you can start to bring that foot up, maybe along the calf. The main thing is do not put the foot on the knee itself. If you're putting it on the knee joint, it's going to create um, a release, a resistance in the joint, and you'll bow out of it. So she's kind of got it right here on the calf. The knee is located right up here, so she's good. Now she can start to move her arms. Maybe she can inhale and bring them up over her head. Yeah. If she ever starts to feel like she's wavering and coming out, then the, basically the foot just goes back down. As you're balancing and creating strength in the standing leg, never feel like you can't go back to a certain position that you started with. Some people are going to be able to eventually pull the foot up even higher, but you got to go where your body is ready to go that day. That's what's so important. I always tell people, fall out, because when you fall out, that's the experience of learning. You get better by falling out, right? That was nice. How did that feel? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and now, of course, the other thing would be to do, we're not going to do it today, but do the other side so that you always have symmetry and balance in your practice. All right. So that was tree pose. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.